a national assembly panel rightly postpone the clearance of the proposed china pakistan economic corridor authority amendment bill 2020 for discussion and voting by the lower house till the government satisfies its members on the authority's legal status months after the lapse of the ordinance that created it the panel wanted the planning officials to explain the legal basis for the authority to continue to exist and for its chairman to keep his job after the ordinance expiry in may the officials could not come up with any plausible explanation for the existence of the authority or the expense incurred on running it without any law to protect its operations among other things the bill seeks to indemnify the actions of the authority since the expiry of the ordinance that had been promulgated a year ago and later extended in january the official said that the authority did not have a chairman at the moment but the panel could not be convinced when informed that the chairman of the technically defunct authority was just coordinating without drawing any salary or perks since the expiry of the ordinance some members demanded that the planning ministry issue a written clarification that there was no chairman of the cpac authority and also explain as to how it was functioning when the ordinance had lapsed as a precondition for the clearance of the proposed bill by the panel this is a fair demand for greater transparency in the affairs of the authority it is an agency that was created to inject momentum into cpac projects and streamline the initiative policy making process is caught up in a storm because the government did not put in the effort required for the timely passage of leg- legislation that is not all the government refusal to address questions regarding the financial probity of the authority had also led to transparency concerns